so Paramount has released the very first trailer for Sonic the Hedgehog 3. The prequel, judging by this trailer, looks very, very good. Disney is gonna try to compete by releasing Mufasa on the very same weekend, and judging by both trailers, I'm thinking Disney should move. Sonic the Hedgehog might win the top of the box office that weekend. But before we dive into the high-speed action of Sonic the Hedgehog 3, there are a few things that you need to know to get the most out of the experience. From new characters like Shadow the Hedgehog and Maria, to potential surprises that could tie into the wider Sonic universe. So without further ado, there are the things that you need to know before you watch Sonic the Hedgehog 3, vamonos! So what is the movie about? In Sonic 3, Sonic, Tails and Knuckles will have to reunite to face a new powerful and mysterious adversary, that will be Shadow. This guy is so mysterious and so powerful that they don't stand a chance against him, so to fight him back, they're gonna have to reunite to a former adversary, and that will be Robotnik. So this movie will follow Robotnik and the trio against this new powerful foe, and that's gonna be a joy to watch, don't you think? So who's gonna be voicing this new character Shadow the Hedgehog? Well, for a while, a lot of people were speculating, and there were rumors, that Darth Vader himself, Hayden Christensen, was gonna voice him, but at the end, Keanu Reeves joins the project, so he's gonna be the voice behind the very very awesome character, and to be honest, he's been a fan favorite as well, so I'm guessing everyone will be happy with this. Alright, so our trio is gonna be reuniting with Dr. Robotnik to fight Shadow, but Jim Carrey is supposed to be retired, right? He announced in 2020 that he was gonna retire from acting, but despite this announcing, Jim Carrey was brought back and he is reprising his role as Dr. Robotnik, but he will also be playing Dr. Robotnik's grandfather, Gerald Robotnik. So we're gonna get twice the Jim Carrey in this movie and I'm just loving that. But there are more humans joining this cast and that will be Jessica Jones and the Defender star Kristen Ritter. The beautiful Kristen Ritter has been speculated to be in this film for months, but everyone thought that she was gonna be playing Rogue the Bat, another kind of animal in the cast, but no, she is a human car director Rockwell. We don't know much about her character, but she is a very, very good actress, so we're all just happy that she's in it. We're looking forward to see more of her. So there is another human character joining this cast of wacky <laughs> characters. That one will be Maria, Maria Robotnik. And if you don't know who this character is, I'm gonna explain a little bit without going into many spoilers. But this character will be played by Alayla Brown, and she is the granddaughter of Dr. Robotnik, and we also know by the games that she has a terminal illness, and the cure to that illness is closely tied to Shadow and his origins. So I'm thinking this movie is gonna have a lot of heart, and it's gonna go very emotional, something that you do not expect from this franchise, and I'm really happy that they're trying to go there. Whatever they end up doing, and whatever the resolution is to her a story, I hope they can deal with that in a very respectful manner, and something that that is transformative to this franchise and to all the characters around her. So very, very excited for this. And those are all the things that you need to know before watching Sonic the Hedgehog 3. I hope you are excited as much as I am. As always, my name is Hector Navarro, and I'll see you on the next one.